Welcome back to another played lately. Lately I have been playing on my PlayStation 5, but I have to say I'm playing the most on my Switch and PlayStation 5. I actually don't play much on my Xbox right now. Now the first game that I want to show you guys today, and uh, I've had this game for I want to say a year, but it's now recently that I have been playing it properly. We can all relate, we have so many games in our backlogs, but now I was just in the mood for this game. And I'm talking about Warhammer Chaos Bane. Now this game is so often on sale on PS4 and on PC and on Xbox. I am sort of hoping that this game will be ported to the Switch also. If it ever does, I will refer back to this video. Now, it is an ARPG by Eco Software and it was released in 2019. So it's not an old game. And it plays much like Diablo with this top-down angle of the camera, slashing your way through enemies in this dungeon crawler way. Now you guys, you know that I enjoy games like this. I am in an ARPG phase right now, having a fun time. And I have to say, an ARPG just like this is exactly what I tried to explain in the mindless games video that I have here on my channel with Happy Console Gamer. I saw a lot of you enjoyed that video, that made me happy to see. Also, a lot of you enjoyed my vlog, also happy to see that. Thank you guys for enjoying my stuff, basically. I'm making the videos that I feel like making, and I always do that, so... So with this game, it is just like that. It is a mindless game. And on the PC, which is where I'm playing this, I can play with one hand. I am definitely one hand gaming this game. Now this game has four original classes. You have the soldier, you have the mage, you have the slayer and the scout. I'm playing a scout, which feels very satisfying with the abilities that you get. Like I have a little pet and it's obviously ranged damage with a lot of bows and stuff. I'm really much enjoying the skill, which is spreading out my shots like this. As you can see, I <laughs> spam that ability so much. And there are also two additional classes added later, which were engineer and witch hunter. <laughs> I haven't tried any other classes yet. I'm still working on my scout. Now, Chaos Bane, it is just broken down to one sentence, I'm gonna say. It's a fun game. Tiny Hats was like, she saw this game and she was like, how the hell do they get away with this? This is exactly like Diablo 3. And you know what, on Discord, we pranked a few people. I was sharing my screen and we said to people, this is Diablo 4, guys. And you know, that is actually believable. If you told me that this is Diablo 4, I would believe you, if I didn't know better. It definitely has that Diablo style, vibe, setting, graphics, even the interface looks like Diablo. How did they get away with this? Now this game is easy and simple enough. And by that I mean it's never really a hard game. You don't get a ton of skills so that you find it hard to keep track of stuff. No, you have your skills and they improve gradually as you play and level up. Simple in the way that it just works. And you do a lot of looting, looting new gear. And it's also this system where it's rare and legendary loot, all of that. The graphics are looking very good on the PC. Now I have to say that I've also played this tried this game on the Xbox Series X. It was on Game Pass, but I think it's taken off Game Pass. Mm, but it was on there. Maybe it will come back. I don't know. But I'm playing it on PC now. Anyways, I like this game so far. It's a very fun game. I thought I would show this to you and pick it up because it's so often on sale and it's a fun time. I'm enjoying my time in this game. It is a mindless game, perfect for those days with quest markers. You just follow the quest marker forever and you know, shoot and slash and hack your way through all of the enemies, just like any good ARPG is set up to be. I'm still on the lookout for a lot of new ARPGs RPGs to play and I have seen some of you guys commenting about some games called V Rising. I have my eyes up for V Rising. I thought I would show that off. I can show that off in a trailer. I haven't bought that game but it looks interesting to me. I do play on PC sometimes and I think that is uh, such a game that I will play on PC eventually. Maybe. I'm just showing off games to you basically. 
Now the story doesn't matter to me in a game like this. It really doesn't matter. I don't care about the story in an ARPG like this. But I do recommend Chaos Bane for you guys. And I am hoping for this to come to the Switch eventually. Which brings me to another game that I have gone back to now when I am in the ARPG hype moment. I had to start a new character in Torchlight 3 again on the Switch. This is a game that I played maybe a year or two ago-ish when it came to the Switch and I enjoyed it. I played it with my neighbors, everyone played it. We played it together. Such a fun time. Now several years has gone by, I feel like maybe one and a half year, whatever. Going back to it. The first thing that I noticed with Torchlight 3 is, god damn, this is still not patched. The problems that I experienced way back, they're still present. And that is the terrible lags and frame drops throughout the game. It's not taking away my enjoyment with the game entirely. I still find it playable on the Switch, but it is a terrible port on the Switch. And this made me think, I wanna make a video about the most terrible ports on the Switch. We had a discussion on this on Discord. What are the most terribly ported games on the Switch? I want to hear what you have to say. Leave a comment down below. Maybe I will make a video. <laughs> Maybe I will invite some other YouTubers on that one. Maybe make a collab video or something. I thought that would be cool and fun maybe. Uh, immediately I thought of Witcher 3, which some people are saying is a good port. Uh, but Torchlight 3, guys. I enjoy the game. I still like it. I made a new class and this time I made, I don't know, class on screen right now. I enjoy it a lot. It just has terrible performance on the Switch. If you can play this game on any other system, I'm sure it would be fine. But it is also another ARPG. So I'm in an ARPG time. I'm in a mindless time, basically, I think. Now guys, another game that I have been playing on my Switch a tiny bit is called Portal Knights, which is at first glance looking like Dragon Quest Builders 2, which I gave a 10 out of 10 on my channel when I reviewed it. It definitely looks like that, looks like a clone of that. You could also argue that it's a clone of Minecraft, but I think it's looking more like Dragon Quest Builders because Portal Knights has these quests and you can see your character in third person and stuff. A uh, very cute game at first glance. <sighs> now what I have to say about Portal Knights that is um, not the best. I don't enjoy the um, menus. I find the menus to be sort of confusing. Not very polished. I don't know about the development of this game, but it is fun enough. What I'm trying to say is that it is not as good as Dragon Quest Builders 2, which is the king of the castle in this genre in my book, in my head. But it is a fun, tiny little game. And I'm building my house in it, I'm doing some quests, and I'm using a bow because I'm a bow person. I use a bow in every game that I've mentioned in this video. Fantastic. Uh, so yeah, Portal Knights, guys. My sister-in-law, we were there some weeks ago and she told me that she got so addicted to Portal Knights once. And I was like, what? Do tell me more. I know about Portal Knights, but I've never really played it. So she told me, my sister-in-law, she told me how addicted she was to this game back in the day when her kids were small. <laughs> so she was like, I can't play that game. I get too addicted to it. <laughs> my kids would starve if, you know, that sort of thing. It's She was describing how addicting Portal Knights was to her. And that made me think I want to also <laughs> experience what she is experiencing with the game. So, you know, when someone is saying to me that they are super addicted to a game, I feel so inspired. I want to also, I want to also get to that point because um, being truly and fully addicted to a game is one of them. <laughs> sounds so nerdy. It's one of the most wonderful feelings. I'm living for that feeling, totally. <laughs> so I've given the game a chance, uh, but I've not reached that point where my kids would starve. I don't have kids, but my hypothetical kids would not starve. But I find it funny, I thought I would mention it, that my sister-in-law, she was so addicted to this game, she's giving it a 10 out of 10. I'm not sure about that one though. 
fun, okay game. It's often on sale also, I feel like. I got it on sale. It was on sale randomly uh, after that visit. So check out Portal Knights, guys. Now another game that I'm actually playing lately right now. Uh, I'm still playing Horizon Forbidden West up there, but more than that I'm playing still Neptunia Reverse. Such a fun time. And I still recommend Neptunia Reverse to be your first Neptunia game. It is worth to play this for the story. Now, the story is about these four goddesses and they represent gaming consoles. The Sega, the Nintendo, the PlayStation and the Xbox. And they are in a console war in this universe, which is called Game Industry, believe it or not. I love Neptune, best character. I think maybe Neptune is my favorite character uh, in any JRPG. Very likable, very good game, I recommend it. It's dungeon crawlery, great story, the music is out of this world. <laughs> colorful game with a ton of characters. All the previous DLCs from the original Neptunia Rebirth 1 is present. Also a lot of new features are added to this remake, which is a remake of a remake. I've said that story before. So Neptunia Reverse is also a game that I'm just playing lately. Now I have a tiny unboxing, as I like to include in my videos sometimes. I have no idea what it is, so you will be equally as surprised. We have a little keychain, we have a little card, and this is from One Print Games, and it is Paradise Killer. I know nothing of this game, I will definitely check it out. Looks really cute. Why have I never seen this game before? Have you guys seen this game before? Paradise Killer One Print Games. It says, a first person open world exploration investigation. <laughs> Only there, sounds good. There's a little sticker, and there is a little bookie book. Ooh, bookie book. Ooh. And also a letter from the good old AJ. Oh, this is the guy that said that, that thing that he said once. I hope you enjoy your copy of Paradise Killer. Case in Gameworks' open world mystery adventure. IGN Japan's best soundtrack of the year. Enjoy. Cracking the mystery. AJ, thank you, One Print Games. Paradise killer, guys. I'm gonna check it out. Thank you for sending this over to me. Now, guys, if you are watching Isha Gaming on your TV, you can still find all of the playlists to this channel. And you can also like YouTube videos while you are watching on your TV. Hit up on your controller and you will find the like button. Really handy stuff. I also have a playlist that is called collab videos which you will see the collabs that I've been doing recently, which has been a few actually. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later on Asia Gaming. What would you say to someone that hasn't listened to it yet? You should listen to this video. But good why? Stuff. There's also gaming though. Sometimes. Sometimes. Wasp trapped in car. I still, ha still have it. Yeah, are you gonna remove it? No. <laughs> That's terrible. How do you think you've improved since the beginning of the podcast? <laughs> My English has been improved so much <laughs> since last episode. And you... <laughs> yeah, that's another meme. From yeah. so my English is pro You've changed so much since you began me. <laughs> uh, in the middle of you choosing those weapons, Disky Disc is live. And I just posted it, so... Yay, Disky Disc, Hellray. You should do this every week, Copper.